And Kyle joins us for a first look at sports. Now, earlier in the cast, we saw the Bobcats had some fun today with some of the kids out on the ice. And they're kind of enjoying the little break they have at the moment. They have about a handful of days off. And, you know, today was not only a good chance for fans to meet their favorite players, but it gave us here at Newcap Sports some time to catch up with the team's leading scorer, Tanner Dunkel. The 20-year-old has been absolutely lights out in his first full season with Lloyd Minster. He's currently tied for the Bobcats lead in goals and assists and has a team high 32 points in just 35 games. Tanner's 15 goals on this season tie him with line mate Austin McDonald. He says a big reason for his offensive outburst has been consistently playing with the same group of players. Last year we were different line, different every different game, different practice. And this year I think I, we found a good chemistry with me and McDonald and you know, I think we've been playing pretty well together, and I think that's uh, it's been one of my big, big keys is finding a guy that I can play with. Not only is Dunkel on pace to crush his career best of 47 points from two seasons ago, but he's also piling up the penalty minutes. He spent a total of 92 in the sin bin, good enough for third best on the Cats. I don't know what that is. I, I do get a lot of tens. I know I've got to stop doing that, but uh, yeah, it gets, uh, that's part of my game a little bit. I like to get a little rough stuff. Dunkel and the rest of the Cats have a few days off before their next game. Well, a stretch of seven straight on the road came to an end this afternoon as the Baker Hughes Bobcats paid the Southside Athletic Club Athletics a visit. The Felines haven't played on home ice since November 24th and only have one win in their last six, so it would be a big boost to finish off this trip with a win. But instead, the Bobcats have to come home on the heels of another loss. Cole Johnson was the bright spot for Lloyd Minster scoring two goals. The Cats are back home next Saturday. Now to some AJHL action from last night. The Pontiacs were in Fort Mac to finish off a two-game set with the Oil Barons. The Barons prove once again why they are one of the top teams in the league, handing the Yaks their second loss in as many nights and third straight overall. Ryan Bloom's hat-trick powered Fort Mac to a 5-0 win. Bloom also picked up a helper for a four-point night. Bonneville in this one was outshot 52-22, and the game could have been a lot worse if not for Stefan Klein, who stopped 47 shots in a losing cause. Now Bonneville returns home to host Sherwood Park on Wednesday. And in Junior B action, the Bandits were in St. Paul Saturday for a date with the Canadians. The Border City Club was riding a six-game winning streak and eyeing lucky number seven. Unfortunately, the Canadians had other plans. Tyler Buns scored the game winner early in the second period to earn the 2-1 victory. The Bandits threw a ton of pucks at the net out shooting St. Paul 36-20, but netminder Jared Lafond was solid between the pipes. Brody Pollard had the lone goal for Lloyd Minster. The Bandits are back at it on Wednesday against Vermillion. Christmas is still 10 days away, but I have an early gift for you. And you don't even have to unwrap it. Here is the New Cap Sports Top 3. Enjoy. Number 3. Lyndon Springer snipes one. Number two, Luke Mahura cashes in. And number one, Anthony Rainier makes the water bottle down. 